it's really hard to get it right. So there's a zillion, right? There are a zillion mistakes. Um, maybe at the baseline is they don't understand or they don't want to know about the fact that they're doing a huge cultural change. And there's an entire body of knowledge about how you do that. There's John Cotter and his eight-step um, his, his eight methodology is, is my favorite and the one that I understand the best. But there are others out there that talk about Linda Rising, um, has a Fearless Change, I think, was, was her book. People talk about how one um, moves these things through a company, through a culture, through an organization. You can't just write the memo and start next Tuesday. You know, it just doesn't stick. It takes years before you're done. And you're done when no one thinks about it anymore. It's become the norm. And very few companies, I don't know if any companies that have become agile are really there. There might be a few, mm -hmm. but not very many. Most are still, because they're on a multi-year process. And by not acknowledging that it is a process of change and that there are steps to go through and techniques to use and milestones to look for, just for any change, regardless of whether it's even agile, I think that's a, that's a big miss. It's a big error. And it's something that, that this, again, this comes from the top. And people at the top often would just like to write a check and hope things will go well. But it takes real leadership and real effort um, up and down the chain in order to make that happen. Mm -hmm.